The exclusive Space Marine Lieutenant you've always wanted is here. Spiky bits. Welcome back, Hobby Maniacs. I'm Rob Bear from SpikyBits.com, and we got the exclusive show miniature from Games Workshop. They were had these bad boys on sale at Adepticon. If you got the VIG bag, you got one of these in your bag, which was a great deal for like 200 bucks right off the bat. There was so much stuff packed in there, including the uh, Fire and Ice uh, game from Cool Mini or Not, and a whole bunch of other stuff. It was just amazing all the things that were packed in that bag. But this miniature included, of course, uh, you could also purchase these separately from the GW store. Uh, while supplies last i'm not sure if they ran out they did seem to have quite a few believe it or not and i saw multiple folks walking up purchasing multiples uh you know five and eight at a clip probably for resale on ebay let's be real but uh i don't know i don't even know what they're retailing for uh out there on ebay obviously i think a lot of us thought this was going to be a space marine captain turns out i couldn't find anywhere where games workshop actually said that. I went back through everything over the past year where they mentioned this miniature and they never actually said Captain. Although I guess we just, again, assumed and it happens. Uh, with the Iron Halo, he definitely looks like a Captain and you could definitely use him as a Captain. I would say F the Lieutenant, Captain all the way on this guy. Now, something uh, perhaps even more shocking. Uh, once I open this up, by the way, it's $35 uh, when you purchase this set of show. When you open this up and you start looking at how it goes together, you may notice a couple things. First of all, uh, it goes together rather easily. Separate head, separate arms, which is really cool. So you can do some swaps and a separate shoulder pad over the figure's right arm. But if you start to take a closer look, you will notice that there are pegs and there are slots. This is an ETB, easy to build, miniature um that they like to call it so it basically puts itself together so real quick before i start chopping this bad boy off the sprue to i would imagine easily assemble him because like i said it's etb there's the front detail so you've got the base that uh has a bunch of detail in here let's do some lighting right here there we go there we got some lighting um so you got the easy to build base, which looks pretty good. The Primaris backpack looks fresh. You got the cool little insignia on the shoulder pad there. The head, like I said, I'll flip it back over. It kind of swaps out. It definitely uh, slots in there. And it looks like I was mistaken. It's only the shoulder pad, not the whole arm that switches out. So just looking at the instructions kind of got us a little out of the ordinary there. So doing the classic, you know, charge men pose or, you know, rest uh, parade rally type deal, but it's got all the uh, the great looking Roman style, I think what are these epaulets, I believe they're called, something like that on the miniature. So overall, I mean, for an ETB miniature, it doesn't look too bad, but let's get it together before we let y'all make the final conclusion. Okay, so there he is, and I gotta admit, He's very striking uh, looking just like the computer 3D renders and of course the images on the front of uh, the package itself. Now, like I said, this is literally ETV. The base locks in. I didn't use any glue on this miniature, believe it or not. Uh, all I did was just slot it in just like it was supposed to. You can see the seams right down the side right there, which GW's gotten way better at hiding on all their miniatures because you can't see it down the side right there. But I mean, overall, it's gorgeous with the purity seal in the right spot, the like the front, a uh, little Roman, whatever they're called, I forget. Starts with a P and a T, some combination I can't pronounce, but there it is. And then on the back, you got this, uh, looks like a grenade, a pouch, you got the sword, which you can move up and down. But the front, unfortunately, the head is going to be locked in place, can't turn it, and the shoulder pad actually comes off. So this would be a neat, neat little bit if you really need an iron halo on the fly or something like that. And then the shoulder pad doesn't want to, but there it is. So I just popped it right off. So like I said, I literally push fit this together. Now, if you want a good hold, snap off the pins uh, and just glue it together like you would normally for any uh, hobby project right there. But overall, I think it's a, I think it's a great looking miniature. You can kind of do a couple different poses there, uh, like if you want, but you might have to do a little putty work right there if you want to be like that. I think he's supposed to be. Uh, down. So overall, I think it's a great miniature. I'm not sure what this is going to be going for on the secondary market, but they were selling at Adepticon 2019 for $35. Not sure if they'll be available anywhere else or potentially again in the near future, but there he is. 
So that's it for this one. Thanks for watching our unbox and build of the new exclusive Primaris Space Marine Lieutenant from Adepticon 2019. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you can be the very first to like and comment on all our videos.